Hello, Hikari Knight here and in this video I will show you how to set up the Hikari Knight's face cam script for RuneScape and uh, other games. To begin with the Hikari Knight's face cam script is actually a standalone application but it's also a module for the RuneScape Unix client so if you don't use the RuneScape Unix client, you can download the standalone application uh, in the description and I will actually add a skip button on the video for those that already have it installed. So if you don't have it installed, you have to go to a RuneScape um, Unix client launcher and uh, click run updater and uh, go to add-on updater and select HK's face cam and uh, if it fails on the first try just try again as long as but if you if you don't get any message saying that you had an error or anything it will work it it have been downloaded then. and if you do not have the installed add-ons tab here from before restart the runescape unix client launcher by closing it and opening it, it again and you should then see HK's face cam here on uh, the installed add-ons. So when you want to set it up, you have to uh, click the HK's face cam or you have to run the uh, HK's face cam script in uh, the uh, application folder. And you will get this message here saying uh, that uh, you need these dependencies and um, you, I don't have a check yet for seeing if they are installed or not. That is why I have made this message here, which will, which you cannot skip in any way. You get it no matter what. So it's maybe something I will change in an update. Anyway, after that you will get this, where if you have a slow computer, you can choose to allow frame drops, which is the default option. Also, if you have several webcams, you can choose which one you want to use here. Do you want to use the first one, second one, third one? Anyway, video zero is the default one because it's the uh, webcam for laptops and it's also the first webcam connected on a desktop. You can also choose to uh, have a border so when you start a webcam you can move it around like this and uh, yeah but then you get a border which this makes it easy for you to like change the values here uh, here however they do not the values do, do not update on here yet um i will probably make something that will check it like check these things and uh, yeah if i stop the webcam or close it i can choose to not have a border and uh, it will look like this and i the problem now is that i cannot move this in any way not even with uh, m player see there's no move option so and i cannot use alt and move on it either i'm holding down the alt button but i cannot move it so that is where these settings come in play I have by default it's using my screen resolution and I have set it to display it in my uh, minimap which is over here but I can still not click on things that are underneath it that is the main problem also you can adjust the transparency as you can see here I'm kind of disappeared now and uh, I'm back again but I'm I prefer to have it on 15% because on YouTube videos it will barely show the background and on live streams it will actually not show the background at all. And you may have to click apply twice if you're not if you're doing changing anything because next time you click it will actually toggle off the transparency so just keep that in mind. Anyway, there's a demon here now that we can use let me just um that when i start uh, when i start it i can make it hide 
the window that contains the uh, face cam. I can also change the settings and move it over here and it will still hide it whenever I move the cursor over it so that I can interact with the game behind it or window behind it. Problem though is that when it reappears the face cam will have the focus which is the problem because if I press enter now it will close the face cam. So if I stop the demon now I will can I can select a window which will be my runescape window and I get the window idea. I can then start the webcam, move it into location, well not that, I want it over there. Move it into location and then start the demon. And uh, I can then move my cursor over the face cam and back and it will focus the runescape window. This makes it possible for me to actually still use the minimap while still providing a face cam for the viewers like uh, now. So I can move my cursor over there, click and the face cam is back once the cursor is out of the minimap. And that's actually all there is to it. It's basically a face cam that will not be in the way. Because on Linux the only solution for face cam is by using FFmpegs overlays which desynchronize with what you're recording very fast, especially on Linux. I There's probably some way to fix it, but I have yet to come over any. I know that FF Split on Windows uses FFmpeg, but I don't know if they use it for the actual recording part. But still, this is a solution that is viable and it works. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and I Wish that you have a nice day and uh, that's actually it. Enjoy runescaping and playing other games. And I really hope you will find this uh, face cam script useful. And uh, one last thing, the face cam script actually requires that you have uh, WX Perl installed. Um, I will actually link the package names for uh, WX Pearl for Arch Linux and uh, uh, Debian and Ubuntu. I can't actually remember them in my head for other distributions, but if I remember it by the time I upload this video, I'll actually provide those in the description too. So, yeah. See you guys later. Bye bye.